Hello there, my name is Jason Schmaltz and I'm an AMGA single pitch instructor and today I want to show you a couple different options for rappelling with a partner. Uh, so the first option that I want to do with uh, my friend Patty is we're going to rappel down this crag that we just climbed and what we want to do is we want to set up both of our rappels uh, together before I go down to set up the next rappel. Uh, so we're going to rig first mine and I want to use a third hand to grab the rope. So this is a good trick because especially if in your, you're in more vertical terrain, uh, the rope is really heavy. So to get it into your ATC, um, it can be quite difficult. But now that I have my third hand grabbing the rope, I can pull the rope through and now it's unweighted. And I can go ahead and put my ATC on. and lock that in. And so now Patty uh, can take this extra uh, loose uh, rope and she can put her ATC on as well. Nice. This is fine. Mm -hmm. I'm on camera, I'm like, like what's happening? Yeah, that's okay, okay. perfect. Okay, so you can see the advantage of uh, Patty going ahead and setting up her rappel device uh, while I'm here is I can make sure that she sets it up correctly. Now, it's kind of hard uh, with this because I'm going to wait this line when I rappel uh, for her to put her third hand on in front of me because as the line is weighted, uh, she'll get um, pulled down to the ground in this case. But on a more vertical terrain, that may be an option. So let's see what happens as I come off uh, my uh, PAS and start to repel. What happens to Patty? Okay. And as I start to wait the system, you can see a couple things. So the good thing is that uh, her ATC is totally safe because she's braked. Okay. But you can see the not good thing in a horizontal terrain like this is as I wait this more and more and start to go down the mountain, and this is going to go down more, she's going to actually be pulled into the mountain, okay? And that could be quite uncomfortable. So you can see setting up uh, rappels together is a nice thing to do, but one disadvantage, especially in horizontal terrain, is that uh, it pulls uh, my partner into the rock and they kind of lose control of where they can be in the anchor and can get quite uncomfortable. So there's a really good solution to that called a J-Rig. And the way that that works is I'll take a, a carabiner um, and you kind of want it to be a big carabiner. And I will put it um, in the master point. Okay. And I'll pull some slack up and I could, I could use my third hand to grab this if the rope was heavier, but since we're on slab, it's not. I'll pull a decent amount of slack up. And now I'm gonna make a clove hitch in this carabiner. Okay, so now what I have is I have the rappel going down to uh, our next rappel station, but I have this nice isolated piece of uh, the rappel line that my partner can still clip into, or still can, can still hook into, and she can not only hook her ATC into, but she can hook her third hand into, and I can watch and make sure she's in good shape. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll hook into mine first. And again, I'll use my third hand to get some slack for me. Okay. OK, 
Okay, and then my partner can now hook into her part. So I'll take that. So Patty can grab the rope directly off the anchor and go ahead and hook her ATC in. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, pull this tight. Yeah. So you're off your PAS. Perfect. That's perfect. So you'll leave your PAS, PAS in, but you're off it now. And now go ahead and put your third hand in. Boom. Here we go. One. Yep. Oh, Two. Yeah, this totally, yeah, this is totally different. Three. That's good. You're good. And then back in here. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely different than what I was taught before. Okay. okay. Well, we can look at what you're taught and I can see. Okay, so now I'm hooked into uh, this clove hitch uh, that's coming to my ATC and then my third hand. I have my PAS still on for now. And then. The clove hitch backside that goes to the anchors is where Patty is hooked in with her third hand and her ATC, and she has her PAS in the master point as well. So we're all ready to go. I can see that Patty is all set up, and the only instruction she needs is that when I get to the next anchor station and yell off repel, that she can simply undo this clove. Uh, the rope will fall uh, down to where her third hand is weighted. And then she'll be ready to clean the anchors and go from there. So I'll show you the difference now when I start to repel on Pat, what happens to Patty's body than before. So let's see. I'll take my PAS off. And you can see that as I repel, you can see nothing's happening to Patty. Okay? So that's a real advantage of the J-Rig. So now I'm off repel and Patty needs to undo my clove and then she can go about cleaning the anchors from that point. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Cool. And you can see now she's ready to start cleaning her anchors and repelling down to me. So last option, uh, when you're repelling with somebody who's maybe unfamiliar and uh, needs some extra help and just flat out isn't comfortable doing it on their own, is to do a tandem repel uh, where you can uh, attach them to your repel line. Uh, so let me show you how that looks. There's a couple different ways to do that. This, I'm going to show you the way that I like the most. So I like to separate my PAS from my extended repel in this, uh, in this practice. So again, I'll start by grabbing the rope with my third hand. And grab that. So now the rope's unweighted, I can put in my ATC. And now I'll go ahead and unweight my PAS. Okay, so now I have my ATC all set up for repel and I'm ready to put my client or my friend uh, directly into uh, my ATC. So Patty's uh, got her PAS in the anchor, so I don't want to necessarily mess that up. So I'm going to have another sling for her and the place I want to put it in uh, or put her uh, connection point in is going to be this the top part of this redundant uh, 120 sling that's been basketed and then an overhand that's going to be uh, kind of a good spot where there's no metal and metal on metal and uh, it's a nice soft uh, connection and we can kind of control uh, where she is a little bit. So I'll go ahead and place a carabiner in that loop. And now I'm ready for her to come over here, still on her PAS. So Patty, come on uh, over next to me on this right side. Okay. 
And uh, I can go ahead and set her up completely while she's still on PAS by basketing the 120 sling into her um, belay loop, doing an overhand knot. Okay, clipping in and locking down. Okay, and now Patty can go ahead and weight this. Let's see if she can come. Yep, yep, that's fully weighted. So does that feel okay? Yeah. Okay. Totally yeah. And so the advantage is Patty is a little bit behind me instead of right next to me. Um, you can adjust the length of how far back you have your client or friend, uh, depending on how much you're stepping on each other's toes. So you may, instead of use a 120 sling, use a uh, 240. Uh, but anyway, this is what we're going to use. So I can go ahead and take Patty off her master point because she is locked in here. And she can have that back. And I can take mine off. We're going to leave our anchor system because we're going to come back here. And I can give Patty an instruction like, hey, you can hold uh, the sling like a rope if you want a stability or something like that. And we can start going back together. Um, a couple of things to keep in mind when you're doing uh, tandem rappel is weight differences. So if you have somebody that's significantly heavier than you, um, you may want to try to position their connection further above so they're not weighting your hip so much, or even position them fully above you. Of course, you would have to extend your ATC out a little bit more to do that, but that's something to consider. <clears throat> um, the second thing to consider when you are uh, doing a tandem rappel with someone is that they still need to have their PAS handy because if you get to the next rappel station uh, they need to have something to clip in so that you can unweight everything and uh, run the rope uh, through the rings. Hey I hope you found that video useful on uh, rappelling with a partner and uh, if you haven't already like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you out at the crag.